right, so I am headed to a charity event that I'm helping sponsor. So this is a trip that's eligible for me to count for mileage. And I'm doing a review of the FreshBooks app that allows me to track mileage. So listen in. You're going to hear how the app works. You're going to hear some problems I see with it and things that they need to work on. And you're going to hear an alternative to use if you are not a regular driver for business miles. Sometimes something a little bit simpler might be a better solution. So if that's you, listen up. So first, let me introduce you to the app. You can access it on your phone. You can click the three buttons to get to the mileage part of the app. You're going to arrive at the unreviewed tab and you just swipe left or swipe right to mark them personal or business. If you go to the reviewed tab and notice that you made a mistake, you can switch it from the category by clicking into the actual trip. Now, my own experience is that it does not always pick up all the trips. I've heard this from two different clients and I have heard, I've noticed it myself. I have a Google phone. I don't have an iPhone. And if you see here in the middle where it says missing trip, you can hit that and it will just send a message to let the developers know that, that it missed a trip, but it doesn't actually let you add one. If you have an iPhone, I, I hear if you have an iPhone, that that button in the middle says that you can add a missing trip and you can correct one that it didn't pick up. But you can't do that in non-iPhones as of April 2022. The other thing you need to know is that if you hit your profile and you go to mileage tracking, you can turn off recording trips. You can change your mileage payout. I am personally using the IRS rate for 2022. I don't know why you would use something different. <laughs> so it's a pretty straightforward, simple, not a lot of bells and whistles app. And it comes for free for the owner of the FreshBooks account. Any users you add aren't also given the mileage tracking. So be aware of that. Now the question is, should you use this free mileage tracking app that comes with your subscription? So I don't use it and I'll tell you why. Uh, I don't drive very much at all. And so if I were to leave the app on, it's just going to build up an enormous amount of personal trips and it would be so much that I wouldn't even really be able to go through them and remember like when I drove for work because I'm probably not doing it all the time. And I just, it, well, it's not a part of my regular workflow. And then the other problem is if I did remember to turn it on right before I drove, which I probably would forget until I arrived at my destination or something like that, I don't have the ability to add in the mileage if I, if I forgot to turn it on or if they missed a trip. Once they update that middle button to let me add trips manually, I could see, you know, showing up at an event, getting it to the parking lot and adding a trip. And then I would have all my trips in one place. So that's That'd be a nice thing for me to be able to do, but until then, I won't be using it. The last thing I'll point out here in the app is if you go back to your dashboard, you're going to have a little section for the potential deduction. Now, that's not showing up anywhere in any report other than the mileage report, which I'm going to show you later. Uh, because if you're a Schedule C filer or you're a sole, like you're a sole proprietor using your social security number, or maybe you even got an EIN, um, or that you're a single member LLC and you're following, filing a Schedule C, for your taxes, you just write the number of mileage right there on your tax return and get the deduction that way. But if you're like me and you made an S Corp election, you have to be using an accountable plan to get these mileage deductions. You can look below for a link to a video about how to do that. But once you make your S Corp election, you can no longer take mileage straight on your tax return. There's no box to put the number of miles that you drove. So you have to use an accountable plan throughout the year to work around that and reimburse yourself from your business for the miles that you drive for business. Please reach out if you have any questions about how to do that. Now, when you're ready to download your report at the end of the year or, or whenever you want it, you go to reports and to mileage tracking, and then you'll be able to export a report. It'll look a little something like this, the start and end, personal, I have some that are still uncategorized, some for business, and it'll give you the mileage deduction. Once we have the ability to make sure that this report is accurate by adding in any missed trips, then this would be a great download for you to give your tax preparer at the end of the year. So who should use this 
FreshBooks Mileage app. Right now, I don't think Android users should use it at all because, like I said, two of my clients have reported that they've been missing trips that they've not been able to add, and I have experienced it too. Um, so once it's broken and your whole system is kind of, you're not able to trust it, or at least that it's 99% correct, you're just not going to use it, um, and you're going to find a, a different solution anyway. If you drive a lot and have an evening routine where, you know, you pull into your last client of the day or you pull into your house or your office or whatever and you're truly logging this every day then this could work and then you could manually add any trips that that it didn't add for whatever reason so then you would have it all in one place you know I'm sure there are all the mileage apps out there are going to have missing trips so as long as that they can ha let you add a missing trip then you're going to be verifying your trips every day and you'll get to add it in but if mileage is not a big part of your business, then you might want to have a simpler solution. And I'll tell you what I do. I'm a business owner who drives, you know, you know, 10, 20 times max for the year, probably not even 20. Um, it's April and I've driven three times for the year. I'm an S corp. So I have to reimburse myself via my accountable plan, which I really should be doing monthly or Maybe quarterly, you can add the mileage part if there's not enough mileage to make it worth it to do it every quarter, sorry, every month. So this is my Google Calendar. If you come to this button right here, you have the ability to add other calendars. And when you click these buttons, they they show up. So this looks really busy right now. I've got my husband I'm connected to. We've got some other calendars. I've got some stuff I volunteer for, like my BSF. Oh, look here, my weekly FreshBooks office hours. You might want to join those. Let me know if you want more info about that. But you'll see my calendar. Now, let's say I was going to drive tomorrow and I'm going to add an event. So event for work. And it's going to be, you know, 10 miles one way. I can add a location. Let's say I add a location my time, sure, that, that time is fine. Now here's the thing. You're going to come down here and you're going to change the calendar to mileage. So if you have a business meeting, you can go in and you can edit the calendar that it was on after the meeting and change it. And my mileage one also is pink, but it's, but it's a separate different calendar. So I have a pink event here. You'll notice I actually did have a pink event on uh, Sunday that I want to record this mileage. Now, if you go to over here, go to schedule, turn off all your other calendars, go back to the beginning of the year, and these are the ones that I have actually had for the year. I've had four. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a pain. I'm going to have to open up these for the description. Um, Maybe, you know, it'd be nice if there was a way that I could get like a third field here that had the number. But again, for like 20 trips a year where I already have an event in my Google Calendar and I can just change it, change the event to have it showing on a different calendar, then I can filter this. Not a terrible way of having it all in one place, having that record for years and years to come. You never have to worry about like losing your mileage log or anything like that. So... That is an option if you are like me, who doesn't drive a lot. If you're a piano tuner and you're headed all over town, you probably need to invest in a very robust, high-value um, mileage tracking app because that's going to be like the largest expense of your business is all those mileage you're putting on your car. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you are a FreshBooks user, please reach out. If you need any help, check out the information below if you want more information about my office hours. And let me know if there are any other videos that you need me to make. I love helping educate y'all on how to get the most out of your fresh books. And if you're an S-Corp user, don't forget to check out the accountable plan video. That's how you're going to be getting that value for the miles that you drive, getting that deduction for the miles that you drive. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson, and I help businesses build their business legacy.